These giant mounds are the work of millions of termites. At its heart, a termite-making queen who pumps out her subject at an incredible rate. And over time, these tireless minions build skyscraping monuments. They're also home to a different insect, which is less industrious, but far more lustrous. After dark, during the wet season, the Cerrado's termite mounds put on a spectacular light show. The source of the eerie green glow, the larvae of the headlight beetle. They use this luminescent trick to lure in insect prey on humid nights. If the termites have odd friends, they have even weirder foes. This is a giant anteater. She's seven foot long and looks like she's been drawn by a seven-year-old on a sugar rush. A huge brush of a tail makes her look like a witch's broom. Her feet resemble a bear's. With claws so long, she walks on her knuckles. And to finish the child's concoction, an elephantine nose. It's an 18-inch long termite detector, which along with ants, are her meal of choice. She has poor eyesight, but her nose is so sensitive, she can distinguish which species of termite lies within a mound. But she has a problem. How to get at the tasty little suckers? And that's where the four-inch giant claws come in. Then she uses her secret weapon. A two foot long tongue. She deploys it like a cowboy's whip. Slurping up mouthfuls of termites, like beans from a billy can. On a typical day, this ant-eating cowboy slurps down 35,000 insects. <laughs> <laughs> 